hello everybody. I got a new shirt today. Isn't it, isn't it cool? Okay, enough about that. I'm super tired today, like extremely tired. Like I could fall asleep right now, but I found something and I want to know if I still know how to use it, play it, whatever you want to say. So, for everyone, because no one knows this unless they went to my school, I played the flute in seventh to freshman year. So that's three years of flute playing and then I quit. So, I found my flute. I want to know if I still know how to play and if I could hit a note, at least one note. I was not the best flute player back in the day. I'm not the best flute player now, but I want to see. I remember to like check it or something, check if like you were on pitch, you would like do this. Oh no, no, you wouldn't put your hand on it, would you? I don't remember. I remember me and my friends would like do this a lot because it was like, I'll just show you. <laughs> we used to do that, um, yeah. So, I'm gonna hook it up. I'm doing this wrong, um, also, I haven't played the flute in since freshman year, um, so. I guess you could say I'm a little rusty. Also, no, this needs to be. Yeah, okay. I remember attaching this part always gave me a hard time. And I never oiled it. You're supposed to oil these. There's like special oil that you get for these. I think I oiled mine like once and like never again and the only reason why i even oiled it once oh no <laughs> was because someone had the oil in their hand and said hey do you need to use this that's literally the, the only reason because i didn't know where it was or what it looked so like if my band director told me to like use the oil i would look like an idiot being like where's the oil because everyone had to oil their instruments and everyone knew where there's I was like the only kid that did not know where the oil was. And you were also supposed to have your own oil, so. And I did not. We never purchased oil, so yeah. And this case literally just has a cleaner. You're supposed to stick a rag through this and like shove it up there. And so like this case, it doesn't fit the oil. So I don't know where I was supposed to keep the oil, but whatever. So this is the flute. I put it up. Uh, I do remember that it's got like this dark line and it's supposed to like come out a little bit like this. Like I could probably push it in a little bit more, but I don't want to. And then I remember all of these are supposed to like line up pretty well. Uh, and then this was supposed not to be perfect. It was supposed to be off like a little bit. So we would always warm up with an A. Or was it A flat? I think it was just an A. I don't remember. I also don't know. I think A was just this button. I think, oh wait, was it these two? I think it was just, I think it was just these two. I literally don't remember. Do not take my word for any of these notes because I do not remember and I don't know where my uh, practice books or my sheet music is. Like I li literally haven't messed with this stuff since freshman year and I don't remember where any of it is. So we're just gonna hope this is the A flat. This was how, wha this was how we tuned ourselves. Uh, so. <laughs> But, um, I was in concert band. Uh, I did march once in the homecoming parade in eighth grade. We all had to. It was a requirement, but we all, like, marched down the 
street up to the school so yeah um I, I do have marching experience it was just that one time it was fun but it was really hot and I would rather not do it again but um all the three years it was just concert band mainly concert band um seventh and eighth grade strictly just concert band and then the one time marching and then high school is when you get to do jazz band concert band um guitar uh marching band like all the different bands so yeah so i'm just gonna play something i'm gonna see if i can remember things i don't know <laughs> I don't know what's happening okay it's probably like my fault like I don't know like I know like you have to have a lot of lip power so you know you gotta, you gotta experience I don't really know <laughs> so we're just gonna try <laughs> See, it's supposed to be like high like the first note that I keep playing and then it just goes down and I don't know what I'm doing wrong and it also ends up being super airy. Yeah, I don't know. I also remember getting like not yelled at but like not like in trouble but like a stern talking to. Um, not directly like the whole band because I kept playing like this instead of like, like this and this was in like 8th grade and the director was like this looks like it hurts quit playing like this because it's gonna hurt you in the future play like like this it's a little more work but it doesn't break your wrists and I felt so ashamed and embarrassed because I knew it was me because I was the only flute player that did that and everyone knew it was me too so yeah Let's just say the flu was not my strong subject, and it was not the best times. And I'm not saying that I didn't enjoy band. It was fine. I liked it. But the flu gave me so much stress because I could never play it correctly. Like, I don't know what it is with the flute. But that was... And you have to, like, have it, like, straight with your head so it's, like... <laughs> I'm gonna just improv something now so that like I don't know and I'm just gonna I'm gonna improv and hope it's good that was not that bad it was airy but it was not that bad I don't remember what buttons <laughs> what notes I was playing but it was not that bad so it's like it's I'm playing like this da, da, da. Is that, I don't know so it's this 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 um these are not toys these are actual legit expensive instruments um honestly if you have one and you know how to use it use it properly don't like and also be so delicate with the keys because you know it's delicate and like they could break so take care of your instruments um keep yours in its case like once i'm done with this video um which i'm wrapping up now actually i'm gonna take mine apart also don't like jam the keys um it's very bad i know it's especially for flutes when you're taking your instrument apart it's really hard not to like press the keys especially if it needs oil that you don't have uh yeah and also like put 
the instrument in properly, correctly, like place it in where it's supposed to go because it goes in for that reason. It goes in that way for a reason. Because if you put it in the other way, then it's not gonna close. And if you force it to close, then you can break your instrument. So, you know, little, little tidbit. You know, gotta be, be good, be good. That definitely woke me up. I was really tired and that woke me up, so. And then you, I don't even, I don't remember if this is like in the right place or not. I assume it is. It's just, it just seems a little loose. I don't know. I remember, um, seventh grade. Oh, this is a Jupiter flute, just in case you were wondering. Um, I remember seventh grade. I don't remember the band director's name. I remember thinking it was something weird. Um, it started with a P. I, yeah, I don't remember his name, but I remember, like, I would be like, yeah, I did so well on that. And then he would give me, like, a C on something where I was like, it should be an A. And I remember talking to my friend because, like, the same thing was happening to her. And we were both reassuring each other that we sounded good. And I was like... I don't think he likes us that much. And he's just, like, giving us bad grades because... And he was right behind us. And so then the next day, he addressed it. And I felt so embarrassed because I was like, dang, he's calling me out. Yeah. I got called out a lot in band. Um, not for anything, like, bad. Other than my playing skills. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I was not good at playing flute then and I'm not good at playing flute now, so nothing changed. Um, I do remember when we would have tests, we would have to go in this little room with the director and we would have to play without like percussion. And I would never get the tempo right, so he would have to like do that like on the what are those called the stands he would have to like tap the stands so I could stay on tempo and that still didn't help um but now uh I transferred from band to choir and I do a lot better in choir so I don't know um but yeah that was me playing the flute was I playing an actual song no uh was I fake playing uh improv good well no i don't even know what that sentence was uh will i do this again i don't know maybe it depends if i decide to brush up br brush up on my flute and actually relearn the notes and learn a song then like maybe do i think that my attention span is good enough for it no um, so this is probably the only video that you will see of uh, me and a flute. So, yeah. Um, I almost ended up playing a clarinet. So, yeah. I, I literally, the only reason why I went for flute instead of a clarinet is because when we signed up to take band, the band director came to the elementary and like gave us like the head pieces like the part that you put your mouth on like this is the head piece and we would do this <coughs> that bursted my eardrum just kidding um but that's what we did and for the clarinet you really have to use a lot of stomach muscles and breath i could not get it i literally tried so hard and i couldn't get it so uh she was like do you want to try a different instrument because clarinet might not be the best for you and i was like yeah let me try the flute and so yeah that's how that's how i got the flute but yeah, clarinet, that was hard. And like you have you have to put like wood, like a wood tip thing on like in between your mouth and the instrument and like it just seems like a lot of work. And yeah, I'm glad that I picked the flute because it's 
tiny and simple and I could just carry it around. Uh, so yeah. Is there another instrument that I wish I played? Uh, I kind of wish that I joined percussion instead, but I didn't, so hey. Here we are. Okay, uh, that that's it for today. Bye!